Welcome into the Greater Texas Ford Dealers Female Athlete of the Year. This is a special award show as we celebrate the best in Texas based on performances on and off the field, gym, track, links, and courts. I'm your host with the most, Rick Renner. Thank you so much for watching. Well, it's been a privilege and an honor to celebrate the Female Athletes of the Month all school year in our inaugural season, scintillating stories of accomplishment, championships, incredible performances, and flat-out girl power. Think about all the amazing athletes in the Lone Star State, and this is the best of the best. In the next several minutes, we will crown the Greater Texas Ford Dealers Female Athlete of the Year, and we'll do it in each classification from 6A to 1A, including private schools. This will change lives forever, and they will be the toast of their town. We start in Class 6A. Let's take a look at the finalist. Audrey Deathridge of Tyler Legacy is one of the best tennis players in the state. Emily Sakura sets San Angelo Central's all-time single season kill mark in volleyball. All-star Jade Workman of Odessa Permian. State champion wrestler Jubilee Rendon of El Paso Franklin. Swimming superstar Hannah Kruger of Midland High. Aaron Sewell does well wrestling and making history there at Coppers Cove. Basketball's Amaya Williams of El Paso Eastwood. Jayana Ramos of Franklin High in El Paso, and track superstar Olivia Rivera Norman of the Mojo of Permian. Drum roll, please, and the winner of the Class 6A Greater Texas Four Dealers Female Athlete of the Year is Audrey Deathridge of Tyler Legacy. She's been to a state multiple times in tennis and the first player from her school to go to state in more than three decades. Team captain, FCA leader with a work ethic that is unmatched. Number one ranked tennis player on a highly ranked Texas team in the state. Audrey will continue her championship tennis at the University of Texas. She's won numerous awards, including best preps player of the year, top female athlete at Legacy all four years, and the MVP of the team, National Honor Society, and on the all academic team. We will see her at the U.S. Open, Wimbledon, and the French Open one day. Congratulations to Audrey for being the Class 6A Greater Texas Ford Dealers Female Athlete of the Year. Moving on to the critically acclaimed VIP Mega Superstars of Class 5A. Some serious competition in this class. The finalists are... Destiny Loessa of Hanks ranked among the top diggers in volleyball. Texas High's Mally Lumpkin is also an ace in volleyball. Diana Wong is the pride of El Paso High, had 27 kills in one game multiple times. Captain Mallory Moore led the way in cross country at Amarillo Tascosa. Belton's Lily Nelson is a multiple state qualifier in swimming. Aliyah Chavez of Lubbock Monterey is the number one basketball recruit in America, if not the world. Soccer's Jimena Rodriguez of Wichita Falls Rider is the school's all-time career scorer. Mount Pleasant's Ella Cross takes her stellar softball career to Yale and the Ivy Leagues. And Serenity Collins stars in track and hoops and everything else at Texas High in Texarkana. Time now for the coveted and the prestigious honor of being the Greater Texas Ford Dealers Female Athlete of the Year in Class 5A. And the winner is... Aaliyah Chavez of Lubbock Monterey. She's the number one high school basketball recruit on the planet. Recently, she cut her thousand college offers to just 10, and it's the who's who. LSU, South Carolina, Texas, UCLA, OU, Southern Cal, Ohio State, Arizona, Texas Tech, and Tennessee. Usually when you score a thousand points in your high school career, it is special. Aaliyah hit 3,000 her junior year, and she has broken every high school record at Lubbock Monterey. Caitlin Clark is the standard of all women's basketball, but Aaliyah has already shattered the national records that Clark set. Clark hit 300 threes in four seasons. Chavez has 400 plus and a senior year to come. Also rivals Nancy Lieberman for points per game at 30 plus. 
Naismith High School All-American, Team USA, All-Star, Nike Festival, first high schooler to do Slam Diaries, cover girl for Slam Magazine, and Dave Campbell's Texas Basketball. She's done it all. Her career is just starting, and congratulations to Aaliyah for being the Greater Texas Ford Dealers Class 5A Female Athlete of the Year. And now to the girl wonders of Class 4A. We have nine finalists for the state's most prestigious honor, the Greater Texas Ford Dealers Female Athlete of the Year. Ashlyn Lang of Midland Greenwood kicked off the school year dominating volleyball as a team captain. Katrina Greer did it all at Waco Connolly, including all state in the high jump. Randiana Jeffrey is a one-woman athletic department in Pittsburgh. Band's incomparable Landry Jones lit up the scoreboards like Christmas trees in December, followed by two coaches' kids. London Shane, who hit 2,500 points at Basketball Powerhouse Seminole, and Canyon Sydney Winfrey, representing the 806, from a family of four superstar athletic sister siblings. Softball's Vita Fierro is a rare sophomore to win the Female Athlete of the Month at a Dumas in the Panhandle. Kilgore's Eva Ray dazzled with her home runs and her music as a drum major. And Chloe Villasana of Big Spring, she hit nearly 700 in softball with 13 bombs. And the winner of the Lone Star State's highest honor, the Class 4A Greater Texas Ford Dealers Female Athlete of the Year is London Shane of the Seminole Maidens. She's one of the most electrifying basketball players in the state of Texas, and one of the most accurate, too. Averaging over 30 points a game, eight rebounds, four assists, and two steals a game. She blew by 2,500 career points like it was nothing. Led her team to the regionals with style. And arguably, one of the greatest West Texas athletes ever, boy or girl. She has never lost a district game, which goes all the way back to the seventh grade. Her dad is a legendary coach in this state and was on the staff of the 1999 boys team that won it all with Mr. Basketball, Chris Ogden. London is a four-year starter, three years All-State, and a perennial TABC All-Star. A big shout out to London Shane, who's pursuing a nursing career at South Plains College and then Texas Tech. She's the Class 4A Greater Texas Ford Dealers Female Athlete of the Year. Time now for the paramount moment you've been waiting for in Class 3A. Who wants to win the illustrious Greater Texas Ford Dealers Female Athlete of the Year? Let's take a look at the nine finalists. Avery Vincent of Jim Ned is the top of her class academically and a volleyball superstar. Adelie Saunders of Early with an amazing comeback from knee surgery. Eastland's Adeline Cunningham is the dig queen in volleyball. Anna Beth Black led Hooks High School to their best basketball season in 20 whopping years. Kiki Murphy is a five-sport letterman at West Rusk. Alpine's Valeria Crespo is a state and regional qualifier in track. Then, two homecoming queens. Madison Pedraza is Dalhart's vice president of the National Honor Society, and Macy Schmidt is Miss West Texas and a ringer on the golf course. And last but not least, tennis sensation Heidi Siebert is academic all district. So the biggest question, who will be the leading lady of Class 3A? Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the Class 3A Greater Texas Ford Dealers Female Athlete of the Year. It's Macy Schmidt of West High School. She led the way as the number one golfer on a team that also made school history going to state the year before. She made a splash individually in the regionals this year. She's also a two-time All-American in competitive cheer. She's been cheering since the third grade. A genius in the classroom, National Honor Society, FCA Victory Bowl in Waco, and extremely popular at the school. Macy has been on every level of the homecoming court. Duchess, Princess, Homecoming Queen, Prom Queen, also Miss West in West Texas. No better person to represent the city with passion and pride. She plans to get into kinesiology or marketing at MCC and then move on to Tarleton. 
Congratulations to Macy. Let's move on to the Phenoms of Class 2A. They absolutely dominated their monthly performances. And the time is now for the Greater Texas Ford Dealers to recognize the best in Texas. Let's gander at the finalist. Back in September, Callie Speesmaker of Bruceville Eddie proved that she's an MVP in every sport she plays. Maddie McAfee is one of only two girls from Beckville to go to state golf since the 1990s and a volleyball state champ. Mark's Mari Blood is a multi-sport superstar. Hooper Lucy Richards of Vega is also one of the nation's top rodeo girls in riding and go tying. Ava Whiteman is Union Grove's Female Athlete of the Year and stars in everything. Wellington's Briley Waters shows steers and led the Lady Skyrockets to their first state tourney ever. Roscoe's Zoe Welch is a state champion powerlifter, barely 100 pounds, and yet lifted 720 at state. Lily Coronado of Valley Mills is a valedictorian with a 4.5 GPA. And Laney Jernigan of Gulfweight set the all-time state record in the 300 hurdles. Class 2A may be small in school size, but they're huge on talent, arguably the most competitive class of all of them. Time now to honor the Greater Texas Ford Dealers Female Athlete of the Year in Class 2A is Ava Whiteman of Union Grove. Talk about the most versatile athlete of them all. She had her finest season in basketball, shooting nearly 50% with 16 points per game. District MVP, both basketball and track team MVP. Grew six inches from guard to dominating post player at 5'9 and six feet with hair. Team captain of a playoff team. Three all-tournament teams, academic all-state. The school's top athlete who basically turned the school colors pink. Ava played for 800 game winner Carol Lee Music, who also coached her mom to state and the state championship game 24 years ago. In volleyball, Ava was a wall at the net, made it to the regionals in track and field, regional qualifier in the 200 meters, long jump and relays, also a decorated cheerleader. She's so smart, with so many dual college credits, she'll have her bachelor's degree in nursing at UT Tyler in two years. Earned a $1,000 scholarship for making a video with her voice distorted on her dog Murphy talking about growing up in a little oil field town of Gladewater. Pretty awesome. Congratulations to Ava. Moving on to one of the most interesting classes of the state of Texas, Class 1A. It's on the six-man football level, and often many of these girls play every sport imaginable at their school because they have to. Let's take a look at the finalists for the Greater Texas Ford Dealers Female Athlete of the Year in Class 1A. Viviana Maldonado of Kroll High School, fittingly enough, from Ford County. Tatum Goodman of Spring Lake Earth ran for 13 state championships and owns numerous state records, breaking her own records. Maddie Dixon of Oglesby led her volleyball team to their first playoff win in school history, and they went three rounds deep. Klondike's Bailey White is an all-state all-star on the volleyball team that made it to state for the first time in 54 years. Maddie Dollar made them holler as a state championship MVP on a Newcastle first state title team ever and coached by her dad. Trinity Sleater led Valley High to 37 wins in a row and a trip to state. Jace Chisholm of Jayton High School finished second to Tatum Goodman in the mile and the two mile at state. Robert Lees, Natalie Immel is a multiple state qualifier in the pole vault and Sam Griffin of Grady is a three time state qualifier in tennis winning the state title her senior year. So who will be the shining star of the esteemed class of Class 1A? Drum roll, please. And the winner of your Greater Texas Ford Dealers Female Athlete of the Year is the one and only Tatum Goodman of Spring Lake Earth. Wow, what a story she is. In my 24 years of covering Texas high school sports, I have never seen a student athlete who has won more state championships and broken more all-time records like Tatum. Heck, she breaks her own records every year, owning four of the fastest times ever. Good thing she does powerlifting on the side to lift all these medals. 
13 state championships, the current mile and two mile state champion, where she continues to break her own record from the year before. She's won state all four years in high school and had the largest margin of victory in state history of any class. She has a scholarship to run at Texas Tech for the legendary coach Wes Kitley. And to top it off, she is the class valedictorian and the president of the student council. She's also shown pigs, cows, goats, and heifers, a little dangerous with them. My prediction, she will win Olympic gold one day. What a bright future and congratulations to Tatum. Last but not least, let's celebrate the private school candidates for the Greater Texas Ford Dealers Female Athlete of the Year. Kate Boone of Holy Trinity Catholic made it a September to remember as a top three ranked performer in cross country and track. Kaylee Kahn of Longview Christian Heritage is a captain of the volleyball team and a spiking machine. Brook Hills Gracie Dawson is all district and a team MVP of volleyball. Mabry McPherson of Trinity Christian is a match play wizard in golf. Multiple state champion Reagan Lee of Lubbock Christian is the TABC Mid-Size Private School Player of the Year. Grace Community's Claire Sturmer made the game-winning save in a state championship shootout in soccer. Harley Brabham of San Jacinto Christian Academy is a tennis state champion and went to the Final Four in basketball twice. Caitlin De La Rosa of Bishop Lewis Riker is a rare sophomore winner and a soccer phenom. And Kinsey Miller of Longview Christian earned the school's Iron Eagle Award for excellence. And the moment you've all been waiting for, the private school winner of your Greater Texas Four Dealers Female Athlete of the Year is Kate Boone of Holy Trinity Catholic High School. She's been ranked in the top three in state for both cross country and track pretty much her whole career. She's one of those cerebral athletes that dominates in sport and in mind. At the school's most recent sports banquet, Kate won the MVP in both track and soccer and also dominates in volleyball. And she took home the prestigious Father Charlie Award for being the most well-rounded athlete at the school, which of course includes the classroom. Finished second at state in both the one mile and the two mile, she's going to Trinity in San Antonio with her most heated rival and friend, Ann Schneider. That's gonna be one heck of a track team. A big shout out to Kate. Congratulations on being the female athlete of the year. And congratulations to all of the girls. It's an absolute honor to tell their story. And your Greater Texas Ford dealers are so proud to recognize the best in Texas. I get tired of thinking about all the accomplishments that these girls do on and off the field. So this is the final show of last year's school year. Can't wait until next year. On behalf of your Greater Texas Ford Dealers, I'm Rick Renner. Have a good night tonight and a better day tomorrow.